and make some digital op art designs. The first thing I want you to do, if you haven't done it yet, is to pause this tutorial and go to your Schoology update and download the two templates I provided for you. So on the bottom of the update for this project, you'll see that there should be a circular template and one with lines. So you just want to download those to start with um, to your desktop, save them to your desktop, and then you're ready to go. The second thing you're going to want to do is to open up Photoshop Elements. So that looks like a camera on your desktop. That's the icon. Um, hopefully your desktop is not as crowded as mine. So I'm going to start by double clicking it. And then because we have a bug in our program, um, if you click Create, it's going to crash. So you need to click Edit and then wait a second and the program will open up. and whatever works best for you. If you can watch this through once and do it, great. If you need to stop it, pause it as you go, and do things step by step with me, that works well um, too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to go to my desktop, which I do have a lot of things, and you're going to open up either the circular template or the line template. Probably both, but one at a time, I would say. So I'm going to start with the line template. Now, this is my template, and if I want to view it closer, I can view zoom in, or I can view zoom out. I think I'm going to view out, just zoom out just a little bit so I can see the whole thing on my page. What I want to do is I want to um, change the view or the perspective of this, but I want to change this so it appears to be an optical illusion. So I'm going to show you two simple filters that you can use to do this. And you really could do this to any sort of geometric design. You could make your own. Um, you don't want to start with something that's already optical art. You want it to be an original piece of art. So I just started with lines. Um, the first option you can do is if you go along the top to filter, and then you go down to distort, and over to wave. Okay, what you can do here is you can play around with these numbers by changing the wavelength. You can change the the um, scale, you can change all the things, and then you can take a look at what you have. Okay, so that's one version right there, and you can say Control Z to go back. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to distort and wave, and you can only see just a little version of it here. You can change the shapes to more triangular, you can change it to square, I think I like the triangle triangular, but you can move it around until you see one that you're happy with. Okay, so let's say that I went through and I was happy with this pattern. Okay, if you want to crop it, you can. Okay, but when you're done with your original pattern, you can say File, Save As, and I'm going to save it as a JPEG. So I'm going to drop down from the Photoshop format to the top JPEG, and I would call this Op Art Kukuzi 1. And I would say save and say OK. So I've got that on my desktop so I can upload that later to share. Okay. Now, that's not my favorite way to do it. My favorite way to add um, sort of an op art feeling is to go along the top to filter and go down to distort and over to liquefy. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring me into this sort of tool area. And I want my design to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to make it 25% so I can see more of it. Oh, I might go back to 50. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to 50. I'll probably go back and forth as I work. There's different things you can do. Now, right now, my brush size is only 64 pixels. So if you can see this circle, it's not too big. I want it to be bigger, so I'm going to make it bigger like this. So this is the size of my brush, okay? So it's pretty large, and there's different things I can do. The first thing I want to do is I want to swirl a section. And if I want my brush to be stronger, it can be up to 100% pressure. It can be lower. Okay, I think I'll start with like, I don't know, somewhere in there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold, and it's going to turn the area I'm working with. Okay, so it's winding that section. And you could do it strong. You could do it not so strong. You could do different sizes, but you can turn them in one direction. I can turn them in another direction, the opposite way. Okay. I can pinch areas so they come together. 
okay? I can make areas come together, I can make areas go apart, but what you can do is you can just work to see what sort of designs you like. At any time you can revert back to what you had in the beginning. Okay, so then you can go through, once you've got something you like, and maybe repeat that pattern over and over as you go. And the circles are different. There's all sorts of tools in here. You could try to use tools that I didn't even show you, but I just think that the wave tool works well, the distort tool works well, the liquify. This little um, hand right here lets you sort of pull out different areas. And you can even do both sort of tools. So I could use this, and then I could go in with the wave, okay? Um, and I could have done the circular thing as well, but I'm going through and just sort of making my own original op art pattern that is entirely created by me. Okay, so I'm happy with this. I'm going to say okay. And along the bottom, you can see the green line going across. That means it's saving. Okay, so that's my original op art pattern. So, and if I wanted to add more, let me see, just real quickly. I just can't resist. Filter, distort, wave. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Pull it back a little bit. Keep it in the line. Let's see this. Okay, I think I liked it better before, so I'm going to say Control-Z. When you're done, again, you say File, Save As. I'm going to save it to um, Kakuzi Op Art 2. Uh, instead of a Photoshop document, because that takes so much memory, I'm going to go down to make it a JPEG and save it and say OK. And then you can attach it to your post um, in the materials section of Schoology so you can get credit. I hope you are doing well. This is just one of many options. If you have other ideas, you can always get back to me, um, and I will most likely approve them so you can work on something else. Um, so happy art making, and hopefully I will see you soon.